Hey guys, Craig from Upstate Armory here. I'm going to be doing a really quick video on how to clean up a old Millserp stock. Uh, this isn't to refinish a stock. This is just if you've got one that you've uh, that has a finish on it that you kind of like and you just want to clean it up a little bit and make it ring a little more. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to do that. So what we've got here is a model 1903 Turkish Mauser stock. Just picked this thing up recently and I think you guys can see pretty well that it's not in the best of conditions. I'm going to be doing a lot of work on this gun, try to make it a little bit more pretty, but it's got some beautiful tiger stripe in the walnut right here that I'd really like to bring out, but I don't want to refinish a thing because I like I like it as it is, but I'm going to give you a really quick rundown on how to you know bring a feature like you know, a, a knot in the stock or tiger stripes out a little bit more if you don't want to refinish the gun. So <clears throat> this is something that I kind of took a shot at trying and I was a little skeptical to do it at first, but since the thing's already in some rough shape, I was willing to, uh, you know, roll the dice and give it a shot and it turned out pretty well. These tiger stripes, when I acquired the rifle, they were barely visible, but you could tell they were there. So what I was wondering was what could I put on this stock to just you know give it a good scrub down and make that feature pop out a little bit more and I was thinking that solvent you know hops number nine like that might be able to do it and I gave it a shot so it turned out pretty well as you can see the stripes are popping out a little bit more but I want to kind of push my limits a little bit and try to get them to pop out even more than they already are so I'm going to bring you guys along for that and so what you're going to want to do is after you got the stock off the rifle after you have it all disassembled and on its own you're going to just take hops number nine or probably any kind of rifle solvent and you're going to pour a pretty you know you're going to put a little bit of it on a, a rag or an old t-shirt like I have here just pour it on so you got you know nice and nice and wet like that and you're going to take it and you're just going to with a little bit of you know a little bit of elbow grease in there just give it a very general scrub down pretty much go up and down the stock like this And as you can see, it is doing a pretty good job. That All that dark stuff is just gross, nasty crap that the gun has accumulated throughout the hundred plus years of its existence. So you go up and down. And what I was doing was putting on a nice coat like that. Nice coat down the whole stock. I'll do one side at a time right now. And then... I'm going to cut another piece of t-shirt here, I want a ni you know, a nice clean piece to do this. You're going to take that piece and you're going to rub the solvent off of the stock. Again, you want to put a little bit of pressure on it while you're doing this. Still taking off some pretty gross stuff right there. Some of that might be stain, the old finish on the gun, but you're not going to strip the finish and that's the important part. I want to do this on a gun that is in 110% mint condition or anything you really want to just leave as is, but if you're just trying to take a shot in the dark and make something look a little bit prettier this might be the way to go see like up here I didn't get I didn't get this spot up here before when I worked before and that's that's how it comes off just comes off pitch black so that's pretty nasty so you want to just you know keep doing that you know maybe once or twice two or three times and 
you know, don't just use your judgment when you're doing this because you don't want to take the old stain off the gun. You don't want to, you know, keep going over and over and over. If you do it one or two times, it's not going to hurt the gun from my experience. So, yeah, I wish you guys the best of luck with this. Uh, this is definitely a good method to use on old military surplus rifles like Mausers or Enfields. If you have something like that, uh, you might be able to preserve the history that holds a little bit better. So, best of luck. Thanks for watching.